What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be trying a new McFlurry from McDonald's. Ooh, a new one. Good. I think they only have a, a few out there, so it's going to be good to see what this new one's all about. So let's get right into it. He's Zach. And he is Dad. And, and together, together, we're Zach and Dad. Well, thanks for watching the Zach and Dads. We are the place for food reviews, food challenges, and good old McDonald's uh, McFlurry kind of fun. So if you like what you see here, which we hope you do, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications so you'll never miss a beat. We are so close to a thousand. Yeah, so what well. is this flavor? All right, what this is, uh, thanks for asking, uh, McDonald's uh, is celebrating National Caramel Day, or is it Caramel? Caramel. Caramel? Uh, or Caramel, Caramel Day by revealing the new Caramel Brownie McFlurry. Uh, it's available at participating locations nationwide starting May 3rd, so it's just coming out. Uh, the new Caramel Brownie McFlurry features the brand's creamy vanilla soft serve that we've all grown to love. I do love that soft serve, if their soft serve machine is working. And it's made with real dairy, with brownie pieces, and caramel topping blended throughout. Okay, so let's try it. All right, so. So it, it looks like white ice cream, but like chocolate. chocolate let me, things. here, what we'll do is this. Let's do this. We'll open up the top. There, it looks like that. Oh, kind of, right. it does look kind of good. It has the, it's a little soft. It has the caramel. Here, let me, I'm going to get a bunch of that caramel, which is on top. It's like an Oreo McFlurry. It has that, it looks, yeah, it does a little bit. It has that brownie, uh, some of those brownie little chunks in there, and uh, caramel, and some of that soft serve. So, let's see what's up. Chip, Chip it. it, dip it. Mm. I already love McDonald's soft serve. And you cannot go wrong with caramel and with brownies on there. Mmm. It is so, mm, it is so good. It is really, 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 really good. I'm gonna have another one. So, what are your, what are, what are your initial thoughts? It's not that good. I could go to like Culver's and get a concrete mixer. That's probably gonna be better. So, but I mean, would you? Would this be something you'd eat though? Again, probably not. Probably not, because you feel that there's other things that are better on it. I really love it. I really do. Especially if you're at McDonald's, you might as well go for it. Uh, give it a try. Um, might not be his favorite, but he loves eating it. But, I mean, with the combination of the brownies, the caramel, um, and that soft serve ice cream that's really good. Um, do, would you think it would be better if you could get if you could get this with chocolate ice cream instead of vanilla? Because mm -hmm. I know you love your chocolate. I think this is better with vanilla. Okay, what about mint? I mint know. ice cream might be... Oh, mint yeah, soft that serve? Would that would rock it out there. Hey, before we give it a flavor rating, give us a thumbs up if you are big into McFlurries. Um, would you try th Would you try this? Uh, Zach feels that there's other better ones out there. I would uh, definitely probably put this on my edible playlist. Would you? Something that you would re-kind of maybe every so often you would get again. I'm not sure if it's limited time or permanent. Uh, what is your go-to? What is your go-to ice cream flavor? What would yours be? Chocolate. Chocolate? Just plain chocolate? Yeah. Now, what would be your favorite, like, um, because the other question is, are you on Team McFlurry or are you on Team Blizzard? Blizzard. Blizzard. What would be your favorite Blizzard? Uh, chocolate cookie dough. Chocolate, chocolate cookie dough. If I had a choice, yeah, I would probably be more on Team Blizzard as well. Uh, there's just so much more variety in Blizzard's. Um, I have anything with mint or peanut butter. Um, I love, also love the banana split one. Uh, I think those are great as well. Um, so anyway, so this wouldn't be on the top of your list. It wouldn't. Okay, but would you recommend it? Mm, maybe. Yeah, I think I would. I would. Let's do a flavor rating on this, okay? Maybe if you only have a McDonald's near you, but McDonald's doesn't have that much good ice cream, you know? Okay. All right. All right, I see what you're saying. So if McDonald's yeah, is near you, plus go their for it. ice cream machine's always broken. I know, I know that is always fun. It's like, hey, there's somebody over here. Let's break it. 
It does seem, or it seems like every one we pick, oh, sorry, especially when we, when it was the um, Shamrock Shakes, it always seemed like, oh, sorry, it's not working today. I'm like, ah. So I don't know. I, I don't know what's up with those machines. Okay. All right, let me think. Um, all right, here we go. Three, Three two, two, one, seven. seven. All right. Wow. So we kind of think, oh, we thought a little differently, but we kind of matched up on there. Uh, there is, yes, I would definitely go blue. I mean, this was good. I'd recommend it. But blizzards are out there that are, you know, blizzards and then culvers, like he said, has what they call concretes. And uh, we're, as a matter of fact, that's another question. Wherever you love to get your ice cream, what do they call, you know, different places call like this is a McFlurry, you have the blizzard, you have concretes. What do they call it in your neck of the woods? So thanks for being with us. We really do appreciate it. There's probably some people out there because we're so close to a thousand that want to be part of that first 1,000 people and part of the family. How can they do that? You guys may like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications so you guys get notified on all the video. Excellent. The one thing that is kind of the only bad part about this is our basement studio is cold. So it is kind of cold eating this, but it was fun anyway. Uh, we know that there's a thousand other channels just like this out there that we hope you love as well. But thank you for taking your small little YouTube experience and spending your time with a father and son that just loved a food review. Uh, so you can enjoy it as well. We thank you for being part of with us today. And as we always end, we'll see you on the Flippity Flop Guys. Here, God bless you. And we'll see you in the next video. All right, take care. Bye now.